I'm here telling a story. I guess South Africa is a land of slavery, but it be out in these streets, faking until it makes it thinking that it's the land flowing with milk and honey. And I'm about to set the record straight. You was in a dire strait, and my name is Kunta Kente. Even if I never get to escape this slavery, bottom line is I'm a try until I die. Okay. Mm. Utlelang Roots, South Africa, aka also known as Roots. Mamelang mm. land of slavery, ne? Ma bani pula ele ene pora. When it rains, it pours. Except, not really, actually. Not not really. Okay? Y'all know, but last night it did. So, ma bani, y'all. Ma bani. That's another word for yesterday. Mm-hmm. All my troubles seem so far away. Ooh, now it seems as though they're here to stay. Ooh, oh, I hate this country because it's full of yesterday. Suddenly, mm-mm-mm. I'm not half the girl I used to be. Mm-mm. Now I'm a fragment of my former self. Oh, I'm so poor from yesterday. Why did you? Have to make me live in so much squalor You nasty South Africa But yesterday is over So today we're not gonna talk about it again mm. Yesterday There was a power cut down for hours It can One, two, three, four <laughs> Type sorrow Four hours go fail. Okay. I missed other little two hour power cuts on the same day. And I spent the whole day lamenting in Sekiri Koda on some years lava lava body la and as good tango tinga bomba and yabango who as you don't get to do that. Like what was your why who do you think you are? I was on that tip about them power cuts yesterday. Mm-mm. Keep a rain, is it key record a great quarter? This morning got so have more power cuts. Marayama bani power cut the gala catalog hang in a molai thing land of slavery. Even though you be out in these streets acting cool, like you're too legit to quit and like MC Hammer can't nobody touch you. Albeit being the land flowing with like I don't know milk and honey not you're the land of slavery You are not flowing with milk and honey, but you're in denial. I'm just saying This is a capeta A capeta And I'm like you know what ne? I don't want to be Moses I just want to be Elijah disappearing at the River Jordan. I want to go in the rapture But yo I uh, like I'm bored. I'm still here. So like whatever Hmm my bunny hobby little power cut in way four hours ago fell and next to keep getting my life I got all itchy. I might have even gotten hives in the middle of it, alright? Mm. And that power cut, uh, it happened Galitzazi my life Lilling rather tepid in terms of temperature. It was just okay, like whatever, mm, drat. It was okay sufficiently enough for me to put laundry mo washing lining. Mm? That was the cranberry game. Keep it a laundry. Keep it a shitting and I'm on life thing. Keep it all my kid into the Mahara washing machine because there was sun enough okay sun enough day before day before you guys hang college was like a day before it regular little thing i got day before the way no who took a moon look at thing in the kill kill a lot of water how many economy living in like some like another market if i get december balls on bottom line is not december i can not take a summer time because i can't echo who would talk my life in yaka it was so hot that i was lamenting to the god of the universe about the fact that i don't have air con and then the very next day it's just like stark cold or something it's like all tepid and then when i like you know my fafa tangana ambal right one or two little bit of a drizzle and then they decided to slap a sister and a brother and a child in the country with a four hour oh <laughs> That's what South African podcasts make people do. You just languish and like nobody cares. Okay, right on. Who look at my life thing? So here it is that we have got all these podcasts and they're like, mm, we're gonna ignore that Christ is a whole idea and we're gonna pretend like you didn't tell us either. Ha! Get your look out of your land needs healing from the most high. Mm. Next thing, when weather was just relatively okay, whatever. Busi ho ge mo bwa fi come on life thing. Get over it the motor is like and then wah. Why I think it's like a lightning strike and shower like thunderstorms. And I remember being like 
Lord, are you perhaps doing this because of that four hour power cut? Are you raining so hard not because of that four hour power cut? Are you upset at South Africa or something? I mean, they think there's a land flowing with milk and honey. They think that after apartheid they got out of slavery, they totally think they've arrived. <sighs> So is this because you're upset at the power cuts? Cause it appears to me like there is not enough upset vibes. Cause if there was, these guys wouldn't know that they were slaves. I mean, the slaves in Egypt knew they were slaves. <laughs> the South African horde doesn't even know they're slaves. They're just sitting around thinking they've arrived. <laughs> they're in Egypt thinking they be Pharaoh or something. <laughs> they don't realize more like they're Joseph. <gasps> they're in prison. <laughs> they don't know. <laughs> bunch of crazy people that they're crazy when they're in the now. <gasps> mm. So that's what I go on right here to ask the king of the universe. Is this lightning strike thunderous affair with a whole bunch of buckets of water from the sky? Is it a lord of the universe from you? Hmm? Yes, of course it is from you, but is it judgment or is it blessedness over the land? Eh? I wanted to know. I wanna be a fireman, a super and a nurse, a superman spider bee, kitty o kids. Sorry, I just kind of break out into that every so often because my brain is a kaleidoscope, it's too busy. So every so often I have to burp out creativity. Okay, fine, very well, right? So I ask the Lord, Father in the name of Jesus, is this circumstance over here a judgment or a blessedness? Since South Africa is in allegedly apparently a drought or something, so I mean every little like drop of rain goes a long way you guys it makes life so good so i was like okay let's try and make life good and then once life is good we don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow maybe it'll be even gooder and i was like whatever okay mm. So Kara was like sleeping there and eventually the answer is not given me but it ultimately was given me. I just go back to sleep Garobala and all of that thundering. Mind you, ne, believe you not, believe you not. By the time I woke up, by the time I papa met officially at like 8.30 or something in the morning, it was still raining. I was like, Lord, what is this? Oh, tell me please, I already asked you this night. I already asked a question. You didn't answer me. Instead, I had a nightmare where my ex-boyfriend was doing stuff. I don't want to see him anymore. Get behind me, Satan. But like, you know, I'm Vula, please answer me. Father in heaven, answer me. I asked if this is a judgment or a blessing on the country since they think they are the land of flowing milk and honey, not of slavery. They think they're Canaan. They don't, they don't recognize that he is a bitter all up in their grill. They don't know that. They don't know that. They are in denial. So Father in heaven, since it's like 8 to 8.30 in the morning and like, uh, I don't know, it's still raining. Is this a judgment? I want to give judgment the number of the judgment. I'm going to give judgment because I'm going to give judgment because I'm going to give judgment when I go on the outside environment. It's all good in the hood. It's just raining, but like whatever. The trees looking all cute with like rain on them. Hey, the house looking all cute with like rain on it. What? Like everything is just looking all cute with rain on it. Like the thing looking like a judgment is looking like, you know, drought happened and then there was rain and so God blessed the land until... Ha! Next part.